I hope you all have seen these digital clocks in railway platforms or in airports. Well, these digital clocks show the arrival and departure timings of trains or flights. Now, the timings shown by these digital clocks are in accordance with the local time of a particular region. So, what is meant by local time? See, in this picture, the three friends are having a quarrel over the local time of their current location. One says that it's 11.59 am. The other one says that it's 12 noon. The third person says that it is 1 minute past 12 p.m. Now, why do you think there is a confusion with the local time? Also note that the sun is overhead a particular longitude, that is longitude x. Now, do you think is there any relation between the sun's position and the local time of a place? Yes, there is a direct connection between the local time of a place and the position of the sun. This is because the local time of a place is defined as the time based on the longitude when the sun is overhead on that particular longitude. The local time of a place is generally 12 noon and that is the time when the sun is overhead over that particular longitude. If the sun would have been overhead over longitude y, then the local time of this place would have been 12 noon instead of 12 1 pm. Again, if the sun would have been at this position, that is overhead longitude z, then the local time of this place would have been 12 noon instead of 11 59 am. So we find that the local time of a place is usually 12 noon and it is a time when the sun is overhead over that particular longitude. So all places lying on that longitude has 12 noon. Also we can understand from this picture that the local time of all the places on the earth are not uniform. This is because the sun cannot be overhead over all the longitudes at the same time. So when the sun is overhead over a particular longitude then the local time of that place is 12 noon. So local time of different places vary according to the position of the sun. Now how much is the time difference between local time of different longitudes? We just now learned that longitude helps us to determine the local time of a place. We also learned that the local time of all the places over the globe varies. We shall now calculate how much is the difference between local times of two consecutive longitudes. Well, we know that the earth rotates in 24 hours on its axis. So, one rotation is equal to 24 hours. Also, we know that there are 360 lines of longitudes. So, these markings shows that there are 360 lines of longitudes. So, we can also say that 360 degree of earth's rotation takes 24 hours or the earth turns 360 degree in 24 hours. So now let's check what will be the time of one rotation if we express the time in minutes. We know that 1 hour is equal to 60 minutes. So how much will be 24 hours? Well, for that we need to multiply 24 by 60. So we can also say that 360 degree of earth's rotation is equal to 24 into 60 minutes. 
So this is the expression that we will have if we try to express 360 degree of Earth's rotation into minutes. So our Earth takes 24 into 60 minutes to rotate 360 degree. Thus we find that to turn or rotate by 360 degree the Earth takes this much time. So how much time does our earth will take to turn or rotate by 1 degree? Let's find out. So 1 degree should be equal to this expression that is total time by 360 degree that is total degree of rotation. So total time taken of rotation is equal to 24 into 60 by total degree of earth's rotation that is equal to 360. Thus 1 degree of earth's rotation is equal to this expression. Now if we solve this expression then we will get the time that our earth takes to turn or rotate by 1 degree. So let's solve this expression. So 1, 6 and 6 divided by 20. So, we get that 1 degree is equal to 4 minutes. Thus, we can see that the earth takes 4 minutes to rotate by 1 degree or 1 degree of earth's rotation takes 4 minutes. Since we know that the longitudes are drawn at an interval of 1 degree, so the time difference between the two consecutive lines of longitudes will be 4 minutes. Now before we proceed with our lesson, can you help me to answer this question? How much time is taken by the earth to rotate by 1 degree? Is it 4 minutes, 15 minutes, 1 hour? or 24 hours? Yes, the correct answer is 4 minutes. The earth takes 4 minutes to rotate by 1 degree. Just a while ago, we calculated that the time difference between two consecutive lines of longitudes is 4 minutes. So we understood that the time difference between two longitudes is 4 minutes. But how can we determine the local time of a place using longitudes? Let's see. We generally determine the time of other longitudes based on the time at prime meridian. So if we shift 1 degree east to the prime meridian, then we add 4 minutes. Again if we shift 1 degree further then we again add 4 minutes. So the longitudes lying to the east of prime meridian will have time 4 minutes ahead of prime meridian. So if the local time at prime meridian is 12 noon then this particular longitude that is 1 degree east longitude will have 4 minutes ahead of 12 noon that is 4 minutes past 12 noon. Similarly, if we want to find out the time corresponding to this longitude that is 2 degree east then we will add 4 minutes to this time. 
Now, what about the longitudes lying to the west of prime meridian? How do we calculate the time corresponding to these longitudes? That is, the longitudes lying to the west of prime meridian. To find out the time corresponding to the longitudes lying to the east of prime meridian, we add 4 minutes. Now, if we want to calculate the time lying to the west of prime meridian, then we don't add 4 minutes. Rather, we subtract 4 minutes. So, if the time corresponding to prime meridian is 12 noon, then the time corresponding to 1 degree west will be 12 noon minus 4. That is 11.56 am. Now, if we move 1 degree west further, then again we will subtract 4 minutes from this time. So, the time by 2 degree west longitude will be 11.52 am. Thus, we understood that if we move to the east of prime meridian, then we keep on adding 4 minutes and if we move to the west of prime meridian, then we keep on subtracting 4 minutes. So, from this picture, we can understand that places lying to the east of prime meridian or longitudes lying to the east of prime meridian will have time 4 minutes ahead of time corresponding to prime meridian. Similarly, longitudes lying to the west of prime meridian will have time 4 minutes behind the time corresponding to prime meridian. So, if we move to the east of prime meridian, then we will add 4 minutes and if we move to the west of prime meridian, then we will subtract 4 minutes. Now, you must be wondering why we add 4 minutes if we move to the east of prime meridian, while we subtract 4 minutes if we move to the west. This is because our earth rotates from west to east. So, the eastern hemisphere of our globe faces the sun first. So, places lying to the east of 0 degree longitude will have time ahead to that of the prime meridian. Again, places lying to the west of prime meridian will have time behind the 0 degree longitude. This is because the western hemisphere sees the riding sun after the prime meridian. So, this is how we can calculate the local time of different longitudes based on the prime meridian. In fact, the local time of different longitudes are determined based on the prime meridian. Since prime meridian is the basis of finding the time of other longitudes or other longitudes are drawn with respect to the prime meridian. So, all the lines of longitudes are also known as meridians. Also, the literal meaning of meridian is mid day. You can relate this with the position of the sun corresponding to each line of longitude. We know if the sun is overhead over a particular longitude, then that longitude will have 12 noon or mid day. So, this is the reason why longitudes are also known as meridians as they experience midday when the sun is overhead over that particular longitude. So, I hope you understood the meaning of local time and how we can calculate the local time of different longitudes based on the prime meridian. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon. 
You can also register for free at deltastep.com or download the Delta Step app to learn one to one with our amazing teachers or to get access to our 5000 amazing videos as per your school syllabus. Master each topic with our adaptive practice technology. Get million plus questions with step by step solutions and unlimited mock tests. Get all your doubt resolved instantly. Learn via games and win amazing prizes like playstations and ipads so at delta step learning is not just fun and easy but it's rewarding too so register for free now